Hey Aries, good to see you guys again after so long. I know it's been a while, I had to move and everything and life got hectic, but I appreciate you guys joining me here, everyone new and old. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start with your July guidance. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and it is a general reading, so it might not resonate for every single one of you. Um, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right, so we're going to start with your signifier, past, present, future, and then move into July. Love, money, and overall life path guidance with two oracle decks. So let's go ahead and jump right in here, Aries. So for your signifier, we have conditioning. I feel like at this time you are gaining awareness that you are you are somewhere where you don't fit in or you have become something that doesn't fit. Um, I feel like you have somehow restricted yourself in order to fit in in some way or in order to satisfy others. So we'll get a little bit more details here. Let's go ahead and clarify now before we get too ahead of ourselves. Conditioning for Aries. Yeah, so in your current energies, I feel like you are very aware that something has become comfortable, something has become very stable and reliable, but the, is it, I'm, I'm making everyone comfortable around me. I have family, I have support, I have friends, um, I have a good job, or you know, this, these are just examples, but for some reason I just don't feel fulfilled. I feel like I'm wearing a mask, you know? I feel like I feel restricted, you know, I feel like that's what you're feeling right now. Because everybody around this lion is so happy, totally content with this lion being uh, entangled by its own web of lot, like uh, illusion, um, trying to become a sheep. So I feel like it's time to kind of at least express yourself a little bit. And I feel like these people would be comfortable with that. Um, so let's go ahead and see. For your recent past, we have the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you're really working hard um, manifesting this Ten of Earth energy. I feel like you're really working hard on your stability, your finances. I feel like you're making something happen for yourself, whether it's work, business, um, inspirationally. Uh, this could mean spiritually as well or in love with a with an Earth sign maybe. Um, that's a Capricorn, a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Sorry, I get nervous. Um, but yeah, so in your recent past, we have ordinariness. I feel like something felt very ordinary, well-paced, and it paid off. But here for your present energy, we have the Eight of Swords energy guilt. So I feel like there's a lot of pressure on you from outside sources to be some kind of type of way, and you're feeling a lot of guilt. Maybe you're feeling a lot of guilt self-imposed guilt. You might be making yourself feel guilty. I should have achieved this by now. I should be this by now, or I'm this old and I haven't done this and I haven't paid attention to that. And, you know, I feel like this is just a general, like, ter you know, very turmoiled mind, mind's brain suffering, overthinking. Um, so let's go ahead and clarify this. And then for your future, we have the, um, the Knight of Swords, this fighting energy. So I feel like there might be some kind of resistance that you're facing within yourself in the future. And I feel like you might be fighting back with your thoughts, the thoughts that are putting restrictions on you maybe. Yeah, I feel like you're really trying to transform at this time that you're holding yourself back because it flipped itself back over the card's behavior. So past, present, future clarification for Aries, please. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. All right, so for your past, I feel like there was something that you might have uh, avoided paying attention to. Yeah, I feel like you put your nose into your work and your finances and stuff, but there might have been something mental that you weren't paying attention to or trying to not draw attention to. These might have been like deep-seated uh, doubts or something that have manifested into reality because you know, they weren't digested or something like that. But I, I do feel like this is something that uh, some kind of, I do feel like these are like thoughts that crept up on you before you could even catch them type of thing in your recent past. And so it manifested into something where I feel like you're feeling torn between your abundance, your stability, your, I feel like you, you have the confidence, you have the resources, but 
are you willing to disappoint people or are you willing to break your beliefs about uh, something um you know i I can't be an entrepreneur because I have to be stable for my kids, you know, something like that. Not doesn't have to be that, but it some, could be something like that. Um, and I, I feel like you're being called to co-create with the universe. And I feel like you, you do have a community that would support you. But I feel like there is a lot of like societal things going through your mind that are haunting you a little bit, Aries. So for your future, I feel like you're going to go through a period of like... Um, dark night of the soul i feel like you're going to do some inner searching and trying to find those missing you're trying to find the keys to unlock the door into your self-actualization like self i feel like you have confidence but you don't believe it like it's like something I, that doesn't make sense but I, it might make sense to you but i feel like you have the confidence but you don't believe it and it's like a split thing where you're like fighting yourself a little bit so i feel like in the future you're going to really tackle that situation um hopefully in a very grounded and mature way in a very self-loving way try not to be very harsh with yourself because it could become explosive and unhealthy so um treat yourself kindly in a, in a dark world a man or a woman's mind should at least be kind so we're going to go ahead and look at your love life obstacle and your love life guide for July. Three of Pentacles in reverse, not really wanting to work with others, maybe right now. All right. Yeah, I feel like at this time you're just not trying to mess with people. You're not trying to like... You're not trying to hang out with people at this time. You're very stable and comfortable, but there is like a, you're like worried about other people's judgments or something. But for your obstacle, I feel like there's just like uh, you're very comfortable with some kind of stillness, some kind of um, rest and recuperation. You feel very blessed in this stability, this mental stability, but is it really comfortable because you are at currently feeling this? So I feel like you are maybe afraid of moving into a relationship because you're afraid of the emotional and mental um, weight that it could bear on you. And I feel like you are still recovering from, some of you are still recovering from some kind of relationship where there might have been a lot of toxicity or pain. But I feel like there is something, some there's someone that wants to celebrate with you or someone that wants to reconcile with you, but you're just maybe just, again, we have the four of swords here twice. You're just trying to kind of po postpone it and feel the comfort within your mental stability, but is it really stable? You know, um, I feel like it's just keeping you closed off in the gray area and just looking into the vibrancy of the future, the vibrancy of the past or whatever. Um, but there, I feel like, you know, for some of you, there might have been a third party, but I don't really get that that off. I feel like, okay, so anyways, for the love life guidance on how to overcome your love life obstacle, we have the emperor in reverse. Break down your barriers, break down your, um, I feel like, you know, you have these very strong opinions about love and it's time to really reconnect with your playfulness. Become that that page of, um, page of fire type of energy, someone very playful, someone very inspired. I feel like it's time to get moving. You might need to like go dancing with your friends or whatever, but I feel like it's time to really bust out of your shell. Um, I don't want you to become... Uh, too too isolated you know these are a lot there's a lot of isolated cards here i mean they're all people isolated alone walking alone thinking alone you know all of this stuff so um i feel like at this time you're just fearing connection for some of you because you're fearing what come the baggage that comes along with it uh because of some kind of past experience um, but I feel like, you know, to, to clear that out, to clear that gunk out and to clear out those memories, make new memories, um, make happier memories. And not, I'm not trying to, you know, gaslight you or suppress that there was something, maybe something worth mourning over or being upset over. But I do think it's time for you to get back into your playful, airy self. So financial obstacle and financial guide, Aries. For July. Huh. 
Okay, so there is a lot of, um, I feel like you just feel very comfortable in something that you accomplished in the past and you're very intensely focused on something in the past. Um, you might be intensely focused or running away from your emotional contentment because this is facing away from the future. This person is facing away from the future here to me. And the way I set down the Ten of Cups, they were also facing away the Ten of Cups. So I feel like you're running away from uh, the risk of losing the nine of the nine of cups. I think you had the nine. I don't know, but I feel like you're afraid to risk anything because you don't think that the ten of cups is possible for you or something like that. But there is a very like impulsive. Like this person looks scared. This person looks worried. They're running away, worried, inten intensely focused on the past, intensely focused on how things have always been. Some of you might be in the closet because this is a same sex couple here. Some of you might be in the closet and afraid to come out. Um, for the for the um, financial guide on how to overcome this obstacle, I don't know why that, but yeah. So for this obstacle, I feel like you are just definitely afraid of emotional. I, I, Aries, your ener energy is really like. <laughs> It's intoxicating. So for your guidance, we have the Eight of Wands traveling and the Six of Swords in reverse. I feel like it's time to no longer run away. It's time to move towards your glory, your success, your dreams, your brilliant ideas. Express your brilliant ideas. It's time to move onward and upward. Um, travel through everything. I mean, um. Some of you may be afraid of a promotion, but it's time to allow yourself to become that thing that you deserve to be. You're worthy. You have the knowledge you have. But I feel like there's just this habit of maybe avoiding that or running away, which is weird for Aries, but it might be some something very subconscious. Um, but I feel like this guidance is to no longer run away, but run towards it. Take the mental lessons, the mental... Um, the abundance of intellectual uh, experience and move onward and upward with it towards your blessings and your glory. Okay, so your life path guide overall for July, Aries. Thank you for hanging out with me this long. I appreciate it so much. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And you can visit me on Facebook and Instagram, Imperial Mystic. I hope to see you there. Um, some of you might be connecting with someone very smart, just as smart as you, and you guys will become like the serious like power couple or divine counterparts. We have the king and queen of swords, control and morality. So I feel like it's going to be someone that can match your... Um, your 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 smarts but i feel like you're both going to have to teach each other to like free up a little bit yeah free up a little bit become more generous more giving trust trust source a little bit trust your abilities to manifest i feel like you're both going to teach each other through this but if not, if it isn't someone else, I feel like now is the time to get very, very clear and gain your control over your doubts and move towards be giving back to yourself. I feel like giving back to yourself, giving yourself the benefit of the doubt, um, giving your inner child a little bit of playtime. Um, it's time to learn something. There's something that you need to learn, something intellectual, something very that will help you that will help you um, gain the confidence and ability to be more generous and, and open and uh, playful, more playful. Because I feel like you might be in a little, little bit of a cold shutdown type of energy right now, oh, oracles. So now we're gonna go into your Archangel Gem card and your Inner Child card. I'm sorry, this is dragging on so long, I'm sorry. I just care for you, Aries. All right, July guidance for Aries. Pink tourmaline, do you treat yourself well? What kind of self-talk is going on in your mind? Pay attention to how well you treat yourself. 
Be aware of your inner chatter and make changes towards love. Treat yourself the way you want to be treated. It is time to awaken your consciousness and focus on love for you. Pink tourmaline. Archangel Cham Chamaya. Unconditional love is mine today and always. Every cell in my being vibrates to the rate of love. I feel good. I am happy. I am grateful. The energy of my own loving vibration nurtures my thoughts and feelings. Yes, and then also for some reason I'm thinking of the journal um, journal prompt. Um, write down what I fear and the reality is. Three things. What do you fear and what is the reality about that thing? All right. Aries, one inner child card for you. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm sorry I look so tired. I just got home from work. See you guys next time. The promise keeper, trust, honor, and safety. When we break a promise to ourselves, we lose trust in who we are and lose, ooh, yeah, lose trust in who we are. And to lose trust in ourselves is to lose our identity. Today, make a small promise to yourself and keep it. Even the smallest promise can make the biggest difference. So I think it's time to re-empower yourself and get out of your head a little bit. So I appreciate you guys so much. I love you. See you guys next time. Bye.